My perspective on life has always remained that uh, people should be equal and treated equally in front of the law and in the eyes of the law and in the eyes of everybody else. The indignity that, we, that the black people suffered at that time as a result of the social um, situation imposed by a government of apartheid and the form of education, you couple, when you put these two things together uh, for, the, for the young people in the, in the country, it was very bitter. Um, so the spirit of revolution grew from there on. It was uh, to change the, the system of government in our country um, by, by force. Uh, South Africa is a free country today. Um, I believe that uh, it is one of the most democratized countries in the world. We can, and uh, our constitution is the most liberal constitution uh, uh, ever. Some people, racist, racist people, do not accept people of, other, of different cultures, of different uh, groups. Uh, if they are a minority, they do not accept the majority. If they are a majority, they do not accept the minority. That is racism. You want, you want uh, those people who are different from you uh, to remain different from you and apart from you. We express our racism differently. In our country, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was built into a law. In, in, in other countries, it is it is just a recognition of people being different from you, and therefore because they're different from you, they can't be the same as you. You don't say it, but you want to treat them differently. If today we as black people want to treat whites differently because they did whatever they did to us as blacks in the past, that will be racism again. I mean, if you look at America today, America, uh, slavery was abolished uh, very many, many, very, very, very many years ago in America. But Americans are still grappling with black and white. Um, when Obama became president in America, it was the black president. It, is, it was not an American becoming a president. It was a black American becoming a president of America. It was an issue. Where that, why is it an issue? It's an issue because racism is still embedded very deeply in the minds and conscience of the American people. Racism is a, is a reality right through the world where people of different colors and races uh, have to live side by side. Racism expresses itself one way or another at some point in time in some manner uh, or fashion uh, 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 in the lives of these people.